Hey, I'm Jordan. Welcome to Rejected Lego Ideas Sets. Today we're going to be looking over the Naruto Ichiraku Ramen Shop. This one was made by the Dadi twins, and they actually had a almost identical submission the year prior. It would be cool to have gotten a set based on Naruto, and they kind of go into why they would like a, a set for Naruto down here. Basically saying that it is a really popular series, and I would agree it is one of the most popular anime of all time. But anyways, let's get into taking a look at the actual build. And for this one, it's going to be a little different. We are going to be comparing these two, actually, as well. I love all the detail on all of these mini figures. Just the arm printing and the leg printing, dual molded legs. Using the, the, the variation of using mid-legs and normal size legs to differentiate between the younger characters. I think this might be a new skirt kind of piece. I love this little build for the scroll here. That's super cool. There's so much detail around the exterior of this as well. And if we get into the other pictures, it actually has another little side cart. And I love the power lines and all the wires and stuff. It looks wonderful. We have got the back here with a cute little staircase and a little air vent and a bunch of graffiti and stuff. I actually really like these doors. I'm not sure if this is a built... Uh, that looks to be like older door pieces, I think. And then we've got a straight-on view and a top-down view, and you can see it opens up, and that would have been really great to get. There is an interior, which has got fridge and a stove. <laughs> little bathroom. Oh, that's a cute build for that. Uh, a little living space upstairs. And then there's it separated, so you can see both a little better. On the older one, it also has a build for the exterior looking quite similar. Uh, I love the look of these scrolls. Like, b both of these builds for these scrolls are actually really cool, because this one's like a little stick with the studs. And then this one is like the big, huge scroll. The other one have a character page? Yes, it does. Okay, we want to take a look at the inside of it first, though. As you can see, the older one from a year ago, it's a little bit different. I love the look of, like, all of this. It's so cool we actually do have chopstick pieces now they were uh released in what was it it was one of the uh i think chinese new year sets so instead of using these wand pieces if lego had made this set i feel like they would have used the chopstick pieces that would have been really cool got the interior of the bottom floor and then the top floor <laughs> this is kind of interesting Showing this. All all these little printed pieces and stuff would be great to have as well. So cool. And then there's... Oh, that's a little chicken coop? That's interesting. It didn't convey that on the other one. If we go... Oh, maybe it... I guess I could see how that could be a chicken coop. It doesn't have any chickens in it. But yeah, if you look at the interior of this one, and the interior of this one, you can see that this one has... Kind of a more square fridge and everything's a little more simplistic and this one i mean i say simplistic but it's not really super simple are those little rice cookers oh that's cute that's actually really adorable i love that and they're not here on this one let's go to the character page there is a bunch of characters for this one uh being the older one and then the newer one we have a couple character pages as well it would have been nice to get all of the Naruto characters in Lego form. I actually really like the designs for these. I like the stylized eyes. I know not everybody does. Especially with the way that people react to the Clone Wars heads. With their stylized eyes to kind of match the cartoon. But I feel like they still work. And personally, I am a big fan of the Clone Wars heads. And... I think that these ones look pretty cool as well. 
I can see how somebody would find some of these uncanny, like this one particularly just stares kind of into your soul. All of these characters. I actually don't remember this one. Maybe it's just been forever since I've watched this. And then this more recent uh, edition version, yeah, same word. This more recent one has a little page with the stuff. I love this page showing all of the little accessories and stuff. This older one also has a little accessory page. I feel like this build for a scroll isn't quite as good as this one here. This one looks just a little nicer. I will say, though, that I love the scroll of seals, the big one that he's wearing on his back. It it just looks cool. Yeah, and you can seat all your minifigures in there and have them eating. And then it's got the little... This is this is cute. This is really cute, actually. I love this. I actually really love the uh, the selection of hair pieces that they've used because these are all official hair pieces, but they all work so well for these characters. I think this would be the only new hair piece, and that's not even like new. That's just using like the classic kind of well, not quite the classic. It's kind of like this slicked back hair with the sailor hat just with a new print and then they used like the ninjago masks for kakashi's mask and then kai's hair in a different color and that fits and works wonderfully as well i feel like the reason that lego isn't going to ever make a set like this and why they've rejected this one two years in a row is because of the fact that it's based on like an anime and as much as anime is popular and stuff still, it's still generally not, like, widely, widely accepted. And I think that's why they haven't done anything on 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 this kind of theme or any of the other, like, even so slightly more obscure themes. And I think it's really a shame that, like, people who are fans of things like Naruto... I have to look somewhere else. That spinning is distracting me. I think it's a shame that people who are fans of things like Naruto or any any sort of intellectual property that's a little less popular than the big mainstream thing, they don't really get sets of, and we have to turn to like bootlegs and knockoff versions of stuff for these or custom printed stuff. I would really love if the Lego group would do more of these like obscure kind of themes and maybe less known and i know it's not it's not really obscure because it's it it's a widely known thing but it's not like as mainstream as like superhero stuff is now because superhero stuff is like people who don't give a shit about superhero stuff are watching superhero stuff or i guess people who typically didn't give a shit about superhero stuff are now watching superhero stuff because of the fact that like there's a big ongoing series in like box office movies like and some things just never will be that widely accepted or widespread in media and i understand that but it's a shame when you're somebody who enjoys these things that aren't that widespread and you're like well i would love to get this what is going on with naruto's hair here it's like flashing that's bothering me anyways um it would have been lovely to get like a set full of all of these or like anything based on like a less less common than mainstream project because like here is 10,000 people not once but two years in a row that showed up and said yes we want this to be a thing right like that's no small amount of people that's no easy task to get 10,000 people to support a project right and I know they can't approve every idea but I would like if they would approve more than the amount they do now even if that means that we still get the same amount and, like, they just put a bunch on the back burner and let them, like, take, like, two or three years to get to us, 
just knowing that they're approved and that they're going to be working on that and that's going to come out at some point would be wonderful. But it, it it's kind of a shame that this has to be just a dream. Just a... Just an idea. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check them out. Thank you for watching, and happy collecting.